been counseling people for decades. I was a pastor, chaplain at a level one trauma center, all this shit. Do you know who I grieve the most? I grieve those people who in childhood had their childhood stolen from them. Had it stolen by a parent who became a child. Had it stolen because parental responsibilities got put on them at 16 or at 8. I've said so many clients over the years who had to take care of their younger siblings their whole life growing up and still are doing it into a fucking adulthood and they feel bad asking for anything for them fucking selves. I feel bad, so bad for those children who have maybe had a father who died and his last dying words were, son, you're the man of the house now. Kid's fucking nine. I feel bad for the parents who had maybe mom cheated and left and so the young late girl is left with her father and her father is fucking heartbroken and she's taking care of him because she feels bad because children love their fucking parents and they want to do whatever they can even though a nine-year-old her biggest concern is my fucking pencil's broken where do i get a new, new pencil i feel bad for the children whose parents dumped their fucking emotional baggage on them fucking spiritual incest fucking using your child as your emotional tampon i've seen that so fucking much Go to my website, Badass Counseling. Read the article that I wrote on emotional incest. Parent, or ch using your child as your best friend, your mini-me, and the fuck and damage that shit does. Those are the people I feel bad for. Dad left, mom and dad got a divorce. I'm here with mom. She's now with her stepdad, and I have to protect mom from her fucking boyfriend. Really? Since you're fucking eight, and now you're 18, and... Or maybe mom and dad were fucking immigrants and I'm the only one that spoke the language. And so I was always having to translate and I made mistakes and dad would yell at me because I've made fucking mistakes. I've had so many people experience in childhood the roles being inverted where the parent became the child and the child became the parent and the child loses their childhood. They feel bad for being selfish. They feel bad that they're not doing more. They are taking care of someone else well into 20s, 30s, 40s. They'd lose their fucking own sense of self, their own desires for their own life, their own fucking dreams. And the real crime underneath all of that is that they see that parent as weak and I have to defend them or look after them. And so they villainize the other parent. But deep, 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 deep down, and this is the fucked up shit, the truth fucked up in so far as it's ugly, not because it's wrong. The truth is that the real anger is at the parent who was weak and didn't stand up and be a parent. The complicit parent. That I had to be the parent because you didn't do your fucking job. So what's your situation? Have a kick-ass night.